what's her? I'm Steve Goyer. And I'm Dave Franklin, and you're watching 10 Minutes. Today we will be interviewing the famous Ludwig van Beethoven. Hello, Beethoven. We are so happy you can make it here from the year 1827. I'm happy to be here. Well, my first question for you is, what inspired you to become a composer? Well, my father was a singer, but he didn't really inspire me. What he did do was push me to play and practice. Mozart was a real inspiration for him. I also was born into a very musical family. So it seems you were surrounded by music. Did you play any other instruments besides the piano? Yes, I played the viola and the organ, but my true passion was for the piano. Well, that explains it. Well, it was nice meeting you, and I'll see you after the show. Hi, Beethoven. I'm so happy you can make it. I have many questions. I'm happy to be here. I have many answers. What was your childhood like? Well, my childhood was pretty difficult. I lived with two younger brothers and a loving mother. But my father, my father, on the other hand, was an alcoholic, and he abused my brothers and I. He'd wake me up in the, in the middle of the night just for me to have a piano lesson. So it seems you had a pretty rough childhood. How old were you when you had your first performance? I was seven and a half. But my father announced that I was six, so until I was 12, I thought I was a year younger. That's a story to tell your grandchildren. Actually, I never had grandchildren. I never even got married. Whenever I asked a woman to marry me, they always turned me down. I'm so sorry I did not mean to be rude. It's okay. You didn't know. Well, lucky for you, that's all the time we have. We're back on 10 Minutes with Ludwig van Beethoven. So, Beethoven... Was it hard composing while you were becoming deaf? It wasn't that difficult, because I could hear the music in my head. But when I had a concert, and the concert ended, I couldn't hear the people applauding, and that was very disappointing. Was your loss of hearing, did your loss of hearing affect your love for music? For a period of time it did, but I decided I shouldn't give up, because I loved music for so long, and I loved to compose, that I didn't want to lose that. So I understand that you were a dedicated man. Can you maybe play us one of your famous symphonies? Sure, why not? and we'll see you next time on 10 Minutes. Once again, I'm Lisa Watzer. I'm Steve Goyer. And I'm Dave Franklin, and this is 10 Minutes.
Bye,